folks, this is all the fruit, and today I'm walking from Tavada Rekrea Siranchad to the small town of Seriad in Sarawak and Malaysian Borneo. On the way, we gotta find a lot of very diverse uh, fruit orchards and gardens, and also some wild vegetation. I already made videos about the garden and the surrounding jungle, but now let's see what we'll find on the way back. Beautiful Cesalpinia growing here, I love those things. And it seems that it's never day at Ranchan. The street lamps burn all the time. There is a great fruit tree collection at Ranchan, kind of a neglected arboretum. You really have to find the super rare things in the forest. But if you manage to find them, there is really a lot of hidden gems here. A smallish moringa tree growing here, two bicartocarposes which are fruiting, and here in front of the, in front of this little house is a, what was this? this should be a, uh, this should be a hermaphroditic papaya. A stand of sago palms, they like, up. they like swampy areas. Well, the fruit seem to be edible, you will sometimes find the sago starch in bags on the markets, also sometimes the heart of palm, but more commonly the sago worms which are being cultivated inside the cut-off stems. Really, here we have the artocarpus, not sure what it, which one it is, there are a couple very similar looking ones, and this is one of them, I still cannot recognize them. They all have edible fruits, more or less tasty fruits. Hmm. Most of those are underdeveloped. Here was one which probably dropped when it was already nice and ripe. Now it's nice and rotten. If I find one which is slightly less rotten, that would be a jackpot. Ah, this one looks actually really good. Hmm. Oh, uh. Hmm. Doesn't smell too rotten. Smells like freshly cut onions. Hmm. Nice and sweet with the flavor of freshly cut onions. You know, the ones that make you cry. Hmm. Hmm. Super tasty stuff, folks. Hmm. Hmm. Flavor of freshly cut onions might sound unpleasant to you, and yes, it's a bit off-putting, but apart from that, it's just sweet and tasty, and there is quite a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tasty. Tasty lollipop. Edible ferns on the other side of the road. Several edible species. Don't think the ones on this side are edible though. Also, tons and tons of durian trees around here. And right now, most of them are fruiting like crazy. An old cocoa tree here. Hm. Somebody has been munching on durian around here. Let's see, an ancestral fruit forest. Not maintained by anybody too much, but harvested by everybody in the village. Old cocoa trees, huge durian trees. The cocoa, unfortunately, the squirrels got it. Wild bananas. <laughs> hmm. Huh. There are some small thick like fruits on this tree here. <clears throat> nope, definitely not fix. Something quite hard which doesn't seem to be edible. Hmm. A sour cocoa fruit would be good after the super sweet artocarpus, but 
squirrels get them while they are still unripe. Oh yeah, somebody has been living the good life, feasting on durians. Some more artocarpus. The inside comes in many different colors. There are species which are yellow or even bright orange. This one seems to be just rotten. A Langsat tree, funny around here, they are not ripe in most other areas. The season is already going towards its end. Crystal clear mountain stream. There are a lot of those here in the area, really beautiful. Here a small durian. Pity. Small durian. Just also been chewed by a squirrel. Let's see. I don't, I will not take out my parang for it. If it opens easily. And this animal inside, it's okay. I think this is red salak or jungle snake fruit. Oh, look at this. Two palm leaves chopped up, chopped off and put like here. This means that somebody is claiming this part behind it. Okay, so let's not disturb it. Here is a small durian outside of the claimed part. Oh. I don't know, man. Could be something in there. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Mm, this one looks good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice and sweet. This one. However. Most of it is rotten. And another one of these tiny durians, but too rotten. Shampoo ginger. Also want to wash off. Want to wash my hand. Oh, and while coming here to wash my hand, I struck gold. Jungle mangosteen. Red jungle mangosteen. It's a different species from the purple mangosteen. Hmm. Where is the tree those are coming from? Hmm. The ground is littered with them. Ah, yeah. And they are slippery and slimy. But more durians in the creek. Brrr. Ground is littered with purple mango steeds. This is already too old. Big artocarpus leaves, big leaves, big fruits. Tukulangsap. Which one? Is the mango steed? Well, not really a mango steed, it's a, it's a Garcinia, it's in the same genus. This is the tree. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. The fungi are really working hard in this spot. Wow. More cocoa trees there, but I don't see single good fruit. Those are the carpus leaves are truly gigantic. This one is like 70, 80 centimeters long, and they're important for identification. This reminds me of a very popular foraging in post-communist Bulgaria, foraging for copper cables. Seems that even Borneo is not safe from this. Rubus molucanus, quite a common bramble. It's not a blackberry because the berries are red, but it's basically a red blackberry. Uh, you can see two really tiny ones up there. Not gonna go and get them. They are not worth the trouble, especially with tons of much better fruits around. No idea what that vine with the red berries is. 
i are some of the red blackberries. They don't taste as good as raspberries or blackberry. They are okay. Like a raspberry or blackberry. Without any flavor. A bit sour. Maybe a hint of bitterness. Approaching the village of Syria. And here a couple of Guadalupe cucumbers are growing. I already picked the ones which are unripe enough and then to consume, safe to consume. The dondong tree, the coconut tree, both popular fruit trees around here. And two rambutan trees behind this car. An African tulip tree. This will give you fresh water for several hours after rain. Singapore rhododendron, not only anti-inflammatory, but also has tasty edible fruits, but here not a single one of those is ripe yet. An oil palm, not just the most efficient oil provider in the world, but the fruits are actually edible and sometimes quite tasty. A guava tree and some type of bottle gourd slash rich gourd growing on this fence over there. A selection of different domestic bananas, coconut trees and manioc in between. Some purple sugar cane. I doubt the stuff will be very sugary if they try to harvest it now. It's too old already. Edible tickberry. Butterflies love it. One, two, more or less ripe fish berries, not completely ripe. Puh, puh, nah, not really ripe. Look at that! They haven't harvested <coughs> this banana. See this? The upper fruits are already ripe and splitting. <laughs> well, however, be careful when you try to harvest it. This might look like there is a meadow and in the back it hasn't been cut and there is just ferns but there is a ditch in between you would, don't want to walk there, not just for a few bananas I mean, yeah <coughs> I could do it, but it's quite a deep ditch so, sorry poor bananas, not today a lizard <coughs> just crossed the road, here it is Actually, wild pluck is not very common in tropical rainforest areas, so I'm very happy when I see some. Papaya at the Moringa. Here a small roadside stall. Ah, let's grab some coconuts. Can never have enough coconuts. Don't feel like bananas or eggplants, kasturi lime. Here we have some papayas and sour soap. Asamba wang mangoes, plantains, pumpkins, banana flowers, and some tarap. But I want the coconuts. Hi, boss. Berapa harga kelapa? Tiga ringgit satu. Ah, bike, bike. Is this a mangosteen tree? Not so sure. Sour soap next to it. Rambutan, bananas, and coconuts. Wild sugar cane. The flower buds. Well, this is rather feral sugar cane. Shurikin flower buds can actually be quite tasty, but I've never managed to forage them myself. A belimbi tree and more stalls, however, I only see some bananas, mangosteed, lemon grass, papaya, and chilies here. Look at this huge durian tree, it's totally loaded. There are well over a hundred fruits on it. And the smaller one behind it might have a couple less, but they seem to be even bigger. The ones on the first ones are of very different sizes. Also the second one also, but some are really big. Underneath them, <coughs> or between them, a tarap tree. Another super tasty artocarpus. People cultivate around here, but those are still unripe. Star fruit tree, the fruits lying on the ground, hidden next to it a dragon fruit, a tropical asparagus, and the curry leaf. Terong pipit, the smallest eggplant in the world, 
It's called pea eggplant. They are literally the size of peas. Around it's different manioc varieties. Here people use mostly the manioc leaves and really dig out the tubers. And here a matua or crystal fruit tree. Oh no, somebody is not harvesting their papayas. Cannot even call them lazy people. They have planted so many onions here. This is more work than just harvesting a couple of papaya fruits. Codiza albida. This thing has spread everywhere in the last years and acquired herbicide resistance. It became a problem in Germany, in the Mediterranean, in the American Midwest, and even here on the equator. Another crystal tree. Here you can see the beautiful hills behind Trancha Recreational Park. They're up to 800 meters tall and house tons of rare fruits. But right now we are down here. So a crystal tree, a lot of different mangoes, a giant stingbee tree in the background. Not only are those trees giant, they also home to the giant stingbee super colonies. Giant, almost blanket size honeycombs hanging from the branches at some, at some time of the year. You can actually harvest up to two tons, not two kilograms, but two tons of honey from one tree if you are good enough to climb to that height to escape the giant stick bees. We have some bananas. Such areas you never know. Are those some old cultivars or wild bananas? Those look more like cultivars, but they look really crazy. Look at them. Look at how wavy and squarish they are. I've never seen bananas like this. A lot more bananas around here. You never know, are those wild or are those just slightly neglected? Also tons and tons of wild sugar cane. Why don't I see any tasty flowers? Such little trails usually lead to interesting gardens, but my battery is low. I don't think it will last much longer. Here a nice old mango tree between some other trees. I think what looks like a forest. It's actually an old fruit forest. I don't even know what this vine is. I haven't seen it around here yet. Now those bananas are definitely some cultivars. Some tasty animal bananas. It's totally due time for this one bunch to be harvested. The first two fruits are already ripe. You might wonder why the giant stingbee tree was not cut down when the jungle was destroyed. Well, those are protected. Guava tree, a jackfruit tree, and here Encala, the Bordeaux avocado, hanging full of already quite big but still unripe fruits. I wonder if the giant sting bees choose this tree because the bark is too smooth for bears and other honey lovers to climb up. Bilimbi, a star fruit relative. Some call it the most sour fruit in the world. I don't know about the most sour, but it definitely is quite sour. A whole row of nice artocarpus trees. Some of the fruits... Uh, don't get run over by a car. Some of the fruits are totally ripe. They are of really good size. And some are totally ripe. See the brown one here above the egg color? Totally ripe. And here is the big bamboo stick people used to harvest those. Looks like a very neglected garden. Not even sure if it really is or was a garden or if those grow on their own. Uh, no, I'm too lazy to harvest this now. Some feral malvasi. Oh, wait. What are those? Oh, here are a couple of fruits lying on the ground, but those were harvested too young. Oh, there are a lot more lying down there. Some feral malvasi. Here we have the fruits. However, those are the buds, I think, or rather the unripe fruits. Unripe fruits. Most malvasi are edible. However, you can go wrong with such rules of thumb. So don't follow them. If this wasn't as rigid, it would be quite good. Mm. Look at this huge thing. We already had one of this type today. Oh my god. Look at this bounty. 
The onion flavor is a bit off-putting, I must say. Mm -mm. I would totally prefer this without the onion flavor. Mm. This one could be already a little bit too far gone. Ah. Should be more down here. A jungle thick with red fruits, actually a relative of Artucarpus. Most of those fruits are edible. But I'm too lazy to get them now. A water apple tree, but no water apples, I can see. Is a kapok, a small frying banana on an unproportionately large pseudo stem. Finally, a mango hanging from this tree. And actually, lots of guavas hanging from this tree. And nobody harvesting them, most of them already black and rotten.